know, and yes, I'm on camera for this. I've been hearing constantly some people, whether it's at the Sega forums, Archie Sonic Online, or wherever, DeviantArt, you name it. Whatever the place may be, SaturdayMorningSonic.com forums or SaturdayM.com forums. Everybody, some people have always brought up the question. Why doesn't Archie Comics just nix the Sonic Comics? Or, why doesn't Sega end the relationship with Archie and go to another publisher like, let's say, IDW, who just happens to always be popping up all the time? I'm in the conversation. Well, I think it's because it's all part of an agreement, folks. You see, if Archie Comics loses the Sonic license, if Archie Comics, hold on for a sec, uh, loses the Sonic license, uh, if you will, to publish the book, if they were to lose the license to publish this book, Universe, and whatever other spin-offs like Next Levels, you know, Mega Drive, the Archives, you name it. Sorry about that. But going to but going to another publisher is not going to help it. You see, if Archie Comics was to lose the rights to this, Sega, like I was saying, like I was trying to say, it's not going to go to another publisher. Sega's just going to nix the whole idea of doing a comic, period. You know, that, they're the kind, that, they are that kind of business. They are that kind of business. They will nix the idea of doing a Sonic comic book ever again. You know, you could have your Ian Flynn's, your Victor Lobos, your, and I'm sorry if I pronounced his name wrong, your Paul Kaminsky's, your Tracy Yardlins, and all that, you can have them come out all you want and plead with another publisher, plead with Sega to go to a publisher like IDW or Image or make a partnership with Marvel or DC. You can do that all you want. You can have them do, you can have, you know, writers and people in those higher up positions do that all they want. To Sega, if they're the kind of corporation I think they are, and if they value this character as much as they do, and they want to make him a multimedia entertainment icon that goes beyond video games, then they're not going to chance going to another publisher. If anything, if they have the financial needs, they'll freaking make their own comic book publishing company to do this. They will. They will do that. I mean, I can understand why a lot of fans, why a lot of people want IDW to be the, to be the uh, new home for the Sonic comics. For Archie Comics to sell, along with Sega's permission, to sell the publishing rights of the comics. Keep them as they are, but now have them published under the IDW banner. You know, it's kind of like with wrestling, and I know I go back to that a lot. You know, a lot of fans come out and they say, oh, well, if you focus more on pure pro wrestling, like in ROH or PWG or New Japan and all that WWE, people would watch you. Or if you went back to something similar like the Attitude Error or the Ruthless Aggression Error, people would watch you. And that's not always the case. That's not going to, just because you think, oh, they can go back to, do, go back to an error like the Attitude Error or we'll go back to an era like Rooster's Aggression, that that's going to instantly solve all the problems? No. It's not going to solve all the problems. And that's the same with any, anything. You know, like with the Sonic comics, like I said, is it going to solve the problems if they go to IDW? No. It's not going to solve the problems if they, it's not going to solve the problems if they go to IDW. It never will. Because, it was, because if that was the case, if that was the case, then any of the titles IDW has inherited, it hasn't been through, oh, we can continue it, but it's going to be under the IDW banner. No. They've rebooted them. 
And there's a lot of established fans and subscribers of this book, myself included, that rather not go through another restart, especially with a whole rehashing of the story arc all over again by having this comic come to abrupt end just for that. We don't need that to happen. We don't need Sega to do, we don't need our, we don't need the comic to go through that. You know, there are other ways of doing it. And if you want IDW to start publishing a Sonic comic, that's great. Then that's up to Sega to say, hey, Archie, you have your version. We're going to go to IDW and have them do their version. You know, it's, it's the same with IDW's Ninja Turtles. Mirage has a comic book based on Ninja Turtles. IDW has several comics on Ninja Turtles. When Archie Comics had the Ninja Turtles, Mirage still had theirs. Same when Image took over. Mirage still had theirs. The point is, it's not going to matter. It's not going to matter whether Archie Comics sells, with, with, with the permission and blessing of Sega, sells the publishing rights over to IDW, has the comic continued over there. It's not going to solve any problems. The only answer to that is to have IDW publish their own Sonic comics. And that would be the only answer. Yeah, you could use the same characters and maybe settings and all that, but the stories could be like in a completely different universe. Completely different setting. It could be a lot darker or a lot lighter. doesn't matter. The comic... The comic going to IDW or any other publisher is not going to solve its problems. The only thing that's going to happen is if they end up... The only thing that's going to happen is if the comic ends up getting rebooted. That's it. That's all IDW or Image or anybody else will do. They will reboot the comic from square one and you won't be continuing off from, let's say, issue 300 into 301. No, you'll be starting with issue one. And that's it. That's the only way a comic could... That's the only thing IDW would do. That's the only thing... Marvel would do. That's the only thing DC would do. Image would do. Dark Horse would do. Top Cow. Or anybody. Is when they acquire the license to publish a comic book based on something, then they're not going to continue from the last issue. From the previous issue. Very few times this has happened. I think Lynn Carr talked about that in his Blue, B Blue Sky series a couple, about a month or two ago. But, very rarely would that happen. Very rarely. Because in truth, in truth, if, a com if the Sonic comic license was acquired from Archie Comics to IDW, or any other publisher, any other publisher, or any other comic book company, they're not going to start off from the last issue that you read at all, when it was under the Archie banner. They'll continue. They will basically wipe that all clean and start from square one. Now, I know a lot of people would think that's probably be the best thing for it. Would it? Would you really want to take 20 plus years of history, comic book, and a little bit of set, and a bit of sad, and a bit of sad AM, the cartoon series, the Sonic Sad AM cartoon series, sprinkled in. Would you really want to take 20 years of history, 20 plus years of history, flush down the toilet, just to have a fresh restart? Do you think, in a sense, Marvel does that? Well, yes, they do. DC, yes, they do. But here's the thing: out of all those reboots. Out of all those rebirth series, out of all those now stories and all that, there's always still that one comic that remains. The comic that's been around since the beginning of it. And it's still rolling on and on and on and on and on. The point is, the point is, IDW or any the, the, the point is, this comic, this comic here going under the you know, going over to another publisher. It's not going to, like I said, not going to solve any problems. It's not. 
you know, if you're a Sonic Sally supporter and you want those two together, it's not instantly going to solve the whole shipping war. It's not going to instantly get Ian Flynn to say, oh yeah, I'll, I'll put it right in front of your face again. No. It's not going to instantly solve all that. It's not instantly going to shut the Son Amy fans up. It's not instantly going to say, oh, now Tails and Nicole can be together, or Bunny and Antoine can have kids now, or the Ken Penders characters can finally come back. No, it's not going to solve all that. All that's going to be done, all that's going to be done, if the Sonic comic was to go from Archie to IDW or any comic book publisher, all it would do, ladies and gentlemen, all it would do, and this is the honest truth, is be rebooted from square one. Everything for probably the near 300 issues we're going on, maybe 300 plus, would be wiped clean as if they never happened, even though you would physically have this in your hand. That's the whole point. That's the whole point as to the, Arch the Archie Sonic comic going to another publisher will not solve anything. And I think people need to wake up and realize that now. So, that's really all I'm going to say, folks. You let me know what you think down below. Comment if you like. I am out. And Jawbreaker, I'd like to hear you do this in a video response.